वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स हेयर आई एम डॉक्टर अमजद अली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन और स्टैंडर्ड एरर ऑफ मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन और एस्टिमेट्स दियर स्टूडेंट्स द डेफिनेशन एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन स्टैंडर्ड एरर और सिंपल रिग्रेशन स्टैंडर्ड एरर सम हाउ सेम ओनली फार्मूलाज एंड नोटेशन आर डिफरेंट विच विल बी डिस्कस्ड हेयर इन डिटेल दियर स्टूडेंट्स एज वी नो दैट all of the observed value of a y x1 and x2 multiple regression do not fall on the regression line but they scatter away from it let's see graphically here we have two independent variable x1 and x2 and one dependent variable y so these are some observed values of y x1 and x2 and here with the help of these observed value we find the estimated regression line you call it only a regression line so see here the difference between the observed these are uh, dots are observed value and this is our estimated regression line so the difference between the observed and estimated regression line is normally known as the dispersion so the standard deviation of regression or standard error of estimates gives us uh, the information how much scatterness or how much dispersion is existed between the observed and estimated regression line so the degree of scatterness or scatter or dispersion of the observed values about the regression line is measured by the standard deviation of regression or standard deviation it measures the variation of observations about the true regression line expected value of y is equal to alpha plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 and it is denoted by sigma y 1 2 so keep in mind for uh, we are discussing the population case so for the population case we can write it sigma y 1 2 so in the subscript we know that y is dependent variable and 1 2 are are independent variable x1 and x2 okay the standard error of estimate is the standard deviation of multiple regression it measures the dispersion of y values about the population multiple regression equation for a multiple regression with the two independent variable x1 and x2 it is denoted by the standard error of estimates can be denoted by as already told you that sigma y12 so the subscript indicate that y is regressed against two independent variable x1 and x2 these notation 1 and 2 shows the independent variable x1 and x2 dear students normally uh, the population standard error uh, is unknown we cannot find the value of population uh, uh, standard error so we have to rely on sample data and for the sample data we have a different notations here like the sample uh, the sample standard error of estimates unbiased estimate denoted by sy12 the formula for the sample are estimated or estimated standard error become as the standard error uh, of y12 is equal to summation y minus y hat square divided by n minus 3 under so keep it in mind that here n is the number of observation and minus 3 number of parameters so in this case we have a one dependent variable and two independent variable we have three parameters see here i will show you see here we have alpha beta 1 and beta 2 are three parameters so in the formula we have given here three shows the number of parameters okay we can write the formula again for uh, normally in uh, uh, many questions 
uh, we cannot have the direct values of uh, uh, y hat uh, then we have to rely on the a deviation form of, uh, form of the formulas so uh, for the easiness we can use the this formula that summation y minus y hat square summation y minus into a plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 whole square so see our y hat is equal to a plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 which we will discuss in detail in our uh, multiple re linear regression formulation and and uh, empirical analysis so this formula can be further simplified that summation y square minus a summation y minus b1 summation x1 y minus b2 summation x2 y so here to keep in mind that a larger value of standard error of estimated regression line means that the multiple regression equation is of title use in our estimates or our prediction here we have the empirical example for the standard error that's we have to compute the standard error of estimates that we have uh, summation y is equal to 89 summation y square is equal to this and number of observation is 5 and alpha or a value is minus 1.33 and summation x1 x x1 y is equal to this and summation x2 y is equal to this and beta 1 value 0 0.38 or and beta 2 value 1.6 and we have the formula for the standard error of estimate or <coughs> or, or you can call it a sample regression line here and this is the simplification of our formula now we put these values into this formula after putting these values into the formula we get this and we calculate our standard error of regression line 8.7 this is our standard deviation of multiple regression line so this 8.27 explains that that 8.27 unit dispersion is witnessed within the actual or you can call it a observed value of estimate uh, or you can call it a observed value of regression line and our estimated regression line so this is all about the multiple uh, linear regression standard error Okay, see you with another video. Ciao.